Welcome back to examples of starter kit rules from starter kit 3 page 15 This is the movement and defensive fire phase Example as just portrayed in the rule book Read it peruse it read along make sure I don't screw anything up Anyway, it's a simple single unit with medium machine gun defending a position against multiple units moving You'll see how it can attack at many different times and many different opportunities and the limitations that it's also exposed to watch the watch the clip leave your comments and thanks for watching here we are in the movement phase and defensive fire phase example of figure two on page 15 of the starter kit rulebook the 447 with meaty machine gun and i4 spends two movement factors to enter j3 because the five portage point meaty machine gun reduces the squad's mf by two the squad cannot assault move to J3. The 447 could declare double time, which would increase its movement factor by two, but reduce its IPC by one for a net gain of one extra MF, allowing it to enter K3 after J3. Assume this is the move the Russian player makes. The German 467 with mini machine gun in K5 fires only the squad at the moving unit in J3 on the four firepower column with a plus two DRM, plus three from the stone building, minus one FFNAM. Does not cower, leaves two residual firepower in the hex. Why? Because it's half of the firepower of the attack. And the squad is marked with a first fire counter. When the Russian 447 continues moving to K3, the German player fires the machine gun on the four firepower column with a minus two dice roll modifier. First fire move in the open and first fire non-assault movement. Assuming the medium machine gun neither malfunctions, cowers, nor retains rate of fire. That is, the original dice rolls neither a 12 nor doubles. And the colored die is three or more. The medium machine gun is marked with a first fire counter. Use the same marker covering the squad to cover the entire stack. And leaves two residual firepower in the hex K3 because it lost rate of fire. Now the Russian player moves on to the next unit, the 527 in hex G5, with the intention of using 4MF to get to K4. Note road bonus would not apply as the entire move isn't across road hex sides. The 527 enters H5 and I5. At this point, the German declares that he will subsequent first fire with the 467, already marked with the first fire. Since the Russians are within normal range and no known enemy unit is closer, the squad also uses the mini machine gun because the mini machine gun would be marked with a final fire regardless of whether or not it fires. The nine firepower of the squad machine gun is halved as they attack on the four firepower column with minus two dice roll modifier, minus one in, in the open and minus one non-assault movement. The attack will leave two residual firepower unless the shot cowers or the machine gun malfunctions, in which case it would leave one residual. Or it cowers and the machine gun malfunctions, in which case it will leave none. Assume the 527 breaks and two residual firepower are left in the hex. Flip the first fire counter over the German stack to the final fire side. The Russian player then moves the 447 in hex F6 it moves G6, H5, and I5, where it undergoes a two residual firepower attack with a minus two dice roll modifier, moving the open and non-assault movement. Assume this attack has no effect. The German player would like to shoot again with the units in K5, but under a final fire marker, they can only fire at adjacent units. The 447 continues to move to I6 for 4MF, and uses the road bonus to move to I-7. The Russian 9-2 and 447 with medium in hex F-5 move to G-6, H-5, I-6, and J-5 for five movement factors. The leader's one IPC is added to the medium uh, multi-man counters three IPC for a total of four, which is subtracted from the medium machine gun's five portage points. The difference is subtracted from six MF provided by the leader bonus. Upon entering J5, the German player declares final protective fire. The fire group's firepower, the medium must attack with the 467, is halved. 
due to subsequent first fire and doubled due to point blank fire and attacks on the eight firepower column with a plus two dice roll modifier. Plus three for the stone building, minus one first fire non-assault movement. On an original dice roll of seven, the squad passes its final predictive fire normal morale check by the highest possible amount. So it pins. And the Russians must take a pin task check, a nine on the eight firepower column, with the attack leaving four residual firepower from the original eight attack that it was subjected to. Finally, the Russian 426 in H6 moves I6, J6, and K6, where the German player again declares final protective fire. The FG's firepowers have, due to subsequent first fire, halved again due to being pinned and doubled due to point blank fire, and attacks on the four firepower column with a minus one dice roll modifier for non assault movement. There is no open ground in K6, as that is a orchard hex. The Germans' luck runs out as they roll an original dice roll of non-doubles 10, which means the 467 fails its final protective fire normal morale check by 3, becoming replaced by a 447 second-line unit if the German's ELR is 2 or less, and is flipped to its broken side and marked with a DM counter. Additionally, the medium machine gun malfunctions and is flipped to its malfunction side because it rolled a 10. Subsequent first firing or final protective firing is reducing the malfunction of the weapon by two, so therefore will malfunction on a 10. The shot still occurs, however, but results in no effect as the final result is a nine on the four column. A one residual firepower marker is placed. The medium machine gun malfunctioned, so it left no residual, and therefore you can only base the residual firepower on the remaining units, which in this case would be the squad. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.